up everyone it is lavenji gaming and it looks like babo's managed to get the launch correct this time around we are once again back with populous the beginnings beta tournament this is game number two loses bracket round one between med representing avenging angels and over here playing as chumara in the chumara position his opponent already down one game it is sky love currently unaffiliated with a clan to the best of my knowledge this map is incredibly loud. Waves are us. Nope, it's Pressure Point. It's the standard variant of Pressure Point. And once again, as you can expect from the previous tournament games that we have had, all converts are allowed. All bases are allowed. So no hold bars. No holds barred tournament game. So we've already got Chumara starting to take away some of that Takini Convert and it's actually moving over to the blue base. Once again, I've explained this a couple of times, but if you still haven't got it from the few times I've explained it, this is blue base. This is green base. The other two bases have the correct colours in them, so they should not be as confusing. So we've got a little bit of contesting over the blue base. Skylove gives Sponge a little bit of a boost and Sponge blasts a bunch of... Wildman, I guess. That's actually quite smart from Sponge. I don't know if he did that on purpose. Um, these wildies will get stuck because of the current pathfinding features. And so blasting them actually makes sure that they die. Instead of just being useless and getting stuck. Um, of course, the way wild men work is wild men can only be on the world at a specific time, and as the population of the entire world goes up, wild men start to die off. So if you're killing wild men, there's a good chance that they'll respawn in a slightly better to grab location, perhaps. Now, it does look like Sponge has done pretty well off of this initial convert. I can't hear anything over these dang waves. All of these are going to be useless. This is what we're talking about. Look, these braves will find their way out, but these braves cannot be forced out of this little bridge where we would normally do. Put a campfire here. Force them to walk around. We can't do that for this variation. It's one of the many flaws that we've identified in beta as part of the populace, the beginning of beta tournament. But of course, it is deliberate. Even more converting coming out from Skylove. Only a fire warrior. It's great to see Skylove moving around and getting plenty of converts, but only building a fire warrior hut. You need to be doing something with this. He's going for a full-on rush. Look at this. He's got he's got braves everywhere. They're in the base. They're getting blasted down to smithereens. You know, you can't really do a brave rush because the shaman has way too much mana available to her in way of blasts for that to be able to pull off but hey Skylove if you want to prove me wrong you prove me wrong mate you go in there you do what you want so we have Skylove's making a push up the hill supported by Braves Sponge sees the army of Braves coming in he's got warriors trained he's got a fire warrior trained as well if that fire warrior gets into the tower it could be a big problem two warriors produced already third warrior produced now from Sponge one warrior can kill six if he's undamaged. Skylove's getting in there and blasting. But the Braves are dying out. Sponge has stabilized. It's probably already going to be GG. Skylove could maybe do a quick convert round and try to fix things. But I think it's going to be GG for Skylove. <laughs> I think Skylove's got one Brave left. Oh yeah, plus these. These stuck Braves. Stuck Braves. Very helpful Braves those are. That's your convert mana right there, you know. That's a convert. <laughs> this one solitary brave of Skyloves. Yeah, I know, Baba. This one solitary brave of Skyloves is now going to build a tower. Skylove has identified that perhaps an aggressive play may not work. Please stop pinging the same spot. Sponge is going for the arm again. 
Skylab missed his convert. Oh, that's tragic. Skylab's basically doubled his pop from one to two. Never mind. All these worldies at the back of the base. We'd like to be seeing Skylab taking hold of them. As you can see, I've allied up with a number of the spectators who are pinging very useful bits of information on the map. Let's have a little look at the situation. That's a lot of warriors from Sponge now. He could probably just send them all in and remove Skylab from the game. Skylab's working on a hut. Guys, Skylab is working on a hut. Oh! How did Skylab do it? Skylab got unstuck the unstuckable. Skylab is a god among men. Look at that. I have never seen anyone unstick those braves. That is professional play right there. Now Skylab can start to make headway on a secondary base. Does go down to a lightning from Sponge. Sponge's got mana out the wazoo. Yep, that's a word. And Skylab just surrenders. Skylab says, you know what, I don't want to do this. GG, well played. Very quick game to Sponge is your winner.